everyone, today I have a Q&A for you. I basically asked on Instagram for people to send me in questions because there's quite a lot of you like new people here in this little group which I absolutely love and I'm very happy about so I just thought I'd do an update of Q&A because I haven't done one in a little while and show you how I straighten my hair while I do it. The first thing is to spray it with heat protectant spray. This is the Too Chic Ultra Sleek Flat, style, flat Iron Styling Mist from Giovanni. All over my hair. I just brush it through. Okay, and then I'm going to just take up the top section because I want it in kind of like a half up, half down sort of style today, I think. Well, that looks quite cute. I think I'll keep it like that. I'd section it off anyway. Like so. This is how it looks at the back. And then I'm just going to brush through everything and spray the bottom half of the hair again to make sure I really like got it. Okay, so now that I've started, I've parted my hair, I'm just going to go ahead and start straightening. I basically like to... I basically like to straighten in layers, so I take the bits at the from the top and obviously put them out my way like I have, and then I clamp a piece and hold it and just run it over my hair for about 10 seconds over the piece, and then I tend to find like I don't have to do that bit again. Um, and I also like to, aside from that, that I've just started at the front, but to show you, but normally I start from the back and work my way forward so I know what I've done. The first question was, what has your favourite uni experience been so far? Um, I definitely have to say the nights out, honestly, like, they're just so much fun. Yeah, we love a night out in Super Bowl and I just wish we could go out again, to be honest. That'd be so great when we finally can. I'm missing those nights out at Trebles as well, because Trebles is like this place that does pre-drinks, but they do, like, triple shots of stuff. I just... I wish we could go out again, that'd just be a deal. But I don't think that's going to happen before I graduate, to be honest, which is really sad. I do have a glove as well for this, but I don't normally use it because um, I just end up burning myself anyway. <laughs> um, the One of the questions was Shrek 1 or 2. And to be honest, neither. I'm just not a Shrek fan, to be quite honest. Okay, let me. I also brush every bit before I straighten it as well. How long have you been with your boyfriend for? One, we basically have been together since 2018. He asked me on my 19th birthday and now I'm 22. So yeah, we've been together three years, which has gone quite fast. Like, we're obviously both like quite young. We're going through like career changes and stuff like that. And it's just nice to have someone to do that with, to be honest. Like, obviously long distance is hard when you're at uni, but it's not the end of the world, like we face him a lot and stuff and I get asked a lot like how do we do it but I don't know, it's just not really that big a deal I don't think. Some people obviously really struggle with it but we're fine and I also had a question, how did you meet and when? So basically I used to work in this club and <laughs> he, it was kind of like getting towards near closing time, it was probably about 2-3am sort of time and he literally we had this like bar and it was obviously on the actual bar it was literally like steel like a whole foot of steel so people couldn't get over it and he literally just jumped over the bar and just kind of like laid on top of it almost um but yeah that was quite funny anyway so we kind of started speaking after that and then obviously went from strength to strength after like three months and then yeah here we are now I, thought he was funny, um, I think he still thinks he is funny, <laughs> jokes, but um, yeah, we obviously have been together for quite a long time now, so we also knew each other, like we knew of each other before, but we didn't, I kind of met him through his friend, and yeah, if I didn't, if I didn't know his friend, I probably wouldn't have like, know, like known him to date him sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to move on to the other side now. Normally, if I was doing gonna do all my hair like this bit as well, I'd take it down and just do it in layers. But because I'm gonna leave my hair like this, then I think I'll just straighten this bit separately. One of the questions was, "You're a snack, but thanks." 
and <laughs> my brother put in favourite sibling. I have one sibling, so yeah, there's your answer. Someone's put, what's your favourite hobby? So like, when I was younger, I used to do like a lot of literally every single club going, like if there was a club at school to do something, I was in it and I absolutely loved it and I was really, really into sport and stuff. Like, I really enjoyed hockey and netball and like I mentioned last week, when I eventually have my career, when I've graduated and everything, I would love to get back into hockey or, you know, just like something that's active to be honest. I don't really do loads, obviously like the gyms and stuff aren't even open at the minute, but I really, really enjoyed hockey when I did it, so I would love to get back into it. I also did netball at school, and when I was in cadets, in air cadets, we did rugby, and I really enjoyed that too, so I would love to do rugby. And yeah, I just really enjoy like doing sport and stuff, so we will definitely, hopefully, maybe <laughs> get to see if I do oh ah that was hot that's why you wear gloves um <laughs> yeah hopefully we definitely get to enjoy that and have a little bit more of a social life at the moment because this degree is demanding let me tell you someone's put how are you doing with work are you coping okay what are you learning so from my last video you probably know that I'm a student nurse and I'm due to qualify in six months time which is so exciting um more than anything I, with work, like, I'm coping okay, it's been very different to what you would normally expect, um, obviously, we have, obviously I have seen, like, a lot of death because of Covid, which is so sad, and at the start, obviously, it really affected me, but since I've become more, this is quite a little, like, I don't know, honest, this is very honest, but since... We, it never like gets easy when someone dies, especially when it's someone you know and you've looked after, but it's always been quite difficult to deal with because I'm just, and a lot of people are too, because I'm dealing with it so much that now it's not really as much of an issue. Like before I was like quite upset by it and stuff, but a lot of in a lot of ways obviously covid has caused that and it's not news that deaths have been caused by covid and obviously we've seen as healthcare workers a lot of um trauma and they reckon in years to come ptsd will be had by a lot of um care workers that worked through covid because of the amount of death that we're seeing it's not normal obviously if you do a job that isn't in care and um, or medicine then you probably wouldn't see it very much to be quite honest but yeah it's not um it's not ideal like I'm doing fine but I'm just come to sort of accept it and be at peace with it now but yeah it definitely is a huge has a huge impact on my everyday life and work and all things like that the same person also said how are you is life treating you well it's important to check up which I really appreciate it is important to check up and I can't stress that enough because like loved ones and obviously everyone around you would be devastated if you weren't here and if you're having a hard time then I hope you reach out to someone. I will leave links to Samaritans and people like that in the description box. How I am personally, pretty good, like things are obviously hard. As some of you know that I um, lost my grandma in September and obviously that's been six months now but yeah that's obviously I think about her a lot at the moment I'm just trying to focus on each day like I'm fine but I just try to focus on each day and you know hopefully Covid will end soon I'm finding this lockdown a lot harder than most because the other two lockdowns it's kind of light like we've been able to we've where I live at home we've been in tier at least two or three so like at least you could go out to the shops or see someone socially distanced or something like that but obviously at uni now we're in full lockdown we're not meant to see anyone so I'm just like going to work on repeat a lot um it's not awful like I'm getting a lot more human contact than some people are I know I'm not the only one like bored and getting frustrated with lockdown as well but yeah I think that we could I don't know if you if you know someone and you haven't heard from them in a while I think you should reach out to them see if they're okay and yeah that would be ideal that would that would make me happy if everyone checked on their 
in on their like friends, family, boyfriends, partners, whoever, like because people don't always want to talk about it um, and they might not have the opportunity to talk about it if you don't say anything. Mental health matters. Okay, I'm going to move on to the this bit now, like the ponytail sort of bit. Do you miss 863? So I used to do Air Cadets, which I just mentioned at the start of this video. I absolutely loved it. It made me want to go into the RAF more than anything. And yeah, I absolutely do miss 863. Like that was my Air Cadet squadron. I absolutely loved being there. I literally went because my parents were like, oh, just try it. You don't have to stay. You don't have to like even go back after the taster session, but just try it and you might enjoy it, you might not, but just give it a go. So I gave it a go. Um, my dad was in the RAF, if some of you didn't know. And I honestly, I just loved it so much. I stayed for like basically six and a half years until I pretty much had to leave because you can join when you're 13. I believe it's 13 now and you have to leave when you're 20. You effectively age out. And then I didn't go to uni until I was uh, 19. So I was home for like an extra year. Yeah, I left after six and a half years. I absolutely adored being there. Like, it was just the environment that I loved. And a lot of the time, like, you meet so many friends, so many, so many of the people that I still talk to, to be honest, my main friends, except for uni, are from cadets, or I've got very few, like, friends from school. And that says a lot, you know, like, it's the type of people, the type of, like, loyalty and personality shown there that really makes a difference and that's what I value in a friend. I absolutely miss all the opportunities, I was so lucky I went to on IAS to Canada which I'll um, link the video down below, I had such an amazing time, I went to Cyprus with cadets, I went to several RAF stations around the country in England, I literally saw so much and I was definitely blessed with the opportunity, I've like flown in helicopters, I've flown planes, I've just absolutely loved life. I've done more adventure training than you could even imagine and that really makes me want a career in the RAF one day. I obviously don't live at home right now but if maybe one day when I qualify, maybe like future me, like maybe five to ten years off then I'd like to join the RAF. I've still got loads of time left and yeah we just love to we love to see it like that is absolutely something I would love to do as a nurse, maybe, it's not on a necessis, necessis, necessity, but I would love to join the RAF and maybe go to Afghan one day, um, yeah, I just love trauma, critical care, and I would like to, even if I don't go into the RAF, I would like to specialise in trauma one day. And for those that you don't know, trauma is basically broken bones, serious, critical injuries that basically threaten life, um, anything like cardiac arrest, anything that sort of thing is all considered trauma, internal bleeding, obviously like bullet wounds would be that as well, so. Where do you see yourself in five years and what made you want to do nursing? In five years time I would love to be working at our nearest major trauma centre in the like major trauma team. I love anything, obviously I've just mentioned it, I love anything like that and like all the blood, guts, gore, anything like that, give it to me, like I'd just love to do that. I see myself doing that a lot. Other than that, I would like to be in ICU, working in ICU, that would be ideal as well, also at the Major Trauma Centre. I'm not going to say where it is, but yeah, <laughs> um, just to keep my life a little bit private, but yeah, I would love to do that. And of course, in five years time, I'd like to be registered, I would like to maybe be engaged by then, that'd be nice, um, yeah, that's, that's basically it, like, <laughs> have a stable job, have a house definitely in five years time, and maybe be planning for the future, even more like having my own family and stuff like that, so yeah, that'd be my f maybe five year plan, not all essential, like, I don't need to plan for the future right now, like, there's no rush, but that would make me happy. And the last one is, what made you want to do nursing, so basically, I used, I signed up to uni to be physio and then pretty much I just saw this car crash one day and we helped out and it went on for like the court and stuff, went on for a long time actually um, and it only just finished but 
we, this was over three years ago, it happened nearly, and we, I just thought, I've always wanted to help more people more than being a physio, and I know they do absolutely incredible stuff, and they're all amazing, and they literally make life-changing rehabilitation for people, but I just wanted to, always wanted to be more medical, and I've always wanted to be in a profession where I can help people, like, I wanted to be a firefighter, and I wanted to be a physio, and now I'm a nurse, so and I did want to be in the police at one point, and obviously the RAF might still happen. Um, but it's it's not my number one goal, but yeah, obviously I've been a nurse, well, I am a nurse, nearly. <laughs> Basically just my love of helping people, to be quite honest, is why I'm, why I'm here. Okay, so that was my little Q&A. Um, thank you for submitting the questions and stuff. I will leave the links to Samaritans, and if you want to be involved in more videos like this in future, I will also leave my Instagram link down below, and also the link to these straighteners. These are the Remington, I don't know what model they are, but I can leave the link to this down below as well. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you all for coming, and I will see you next week with another video. See you later. Bye.